Hello, today is Monday, May 15th, 2023. This is Dr. Rhonda Johnson. And May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. And today I'm talking about how this community did uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic, just a high level overview. Well, but first, just a reminder that Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders are the fastest growing ethnic and racial group in the United States. The AAPI, which is the shorthand for Asian American and Pacific Islanders community is diverse. This represents more than 50 ethnic groups who speak nearly 100 different languages and who originate from uh, 20 different countries. More than 24 million Asian American and Pacific Islanders live in the United States today. By 2060, an expected 46 million AAPI individuals will call the United States home, according to the Pew Research Group. Now, COVID-19 had a devastating impact on the AAPI community. In an article published on February 26, 2022, in eClinical Medicine, part of the Lancet Group of Journals, their research suggested that Asian Americans had lower testing rates and greater disease severity at hospital admittance during the COVID pandemic. They also had higher excess all-cause mortality and COVID-19 case fatality than non-Hispanic white Americans. Now, during the COVID pandemic, Asian Americans experienced a surge of anti-Asian racism, where almost half of hate crime incidents involved an anti-China or anti-immigrant rhetoric. Now, in, on the May 26 of 2021, there was an online Scientific American article which reported something that I had not been aware of, that COVID has devastated Filipino nurses. The Filipino nurses accounted for nearly one-third of COVID-related nursing deaths, although they were just 4% of the nursing workforce here in the United States. Now, another study published by the UCLA Center for Health Policy Research, the AAPI data, and researchers at the University of California at Riverside found that COVID-19 pandemic led to economic hardship and negative health outcomes and violence for Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders. That report was published February, 2023, and is uh, called the Post-Pandemic Agenda for Community Wellbeing Among Asian Americans, Native Hawaiians, and Pacific Islanders in California. Now, this report found that one in four Asian Americans surveyed reported having and experienced a hate crime, and one in five Asian Americans in California reported feeling worried about uh, becoming a victim of hate. The COVID pandemic also led to delays in access to mental health care, for people in AAPI communities. So today is just part one of several videos that I plan to share this month on Asian and American uh, Pacific Islander Heritage Month with a focus on health equity. Health equity is a state in which everyone has a fair and just opportunity to attain their highest level of health. So that's my message today. As always, please be well and take care.